So as we all know, LTM shows us uh, the loop dominance profile of the model over time. And as we can see here, the dominant loop is the major one containing both inventory and workforce because it describes a larger portion of the total behavior um, of the system. But what sometimes people find confusing is that the pattern that we're seeing here is constantly playing out, even though the amount of change that you're seeing in the system gets smaller and smaller and smaller over time. Well, that's happening because the magnitude of the oscillation is decreasing, but what's responsible for that oscillation isn't changing. So we've added uh, to the LTM panel this measure of the system change, which helps you visualize and understand um, how much change is happening in your model relative to the maximum amount of change that was ever observed in the simulation period. So in this case, we can see that early on, there's the most amount of change in all of the stocks in the system, and that as time goes on, the amount of change that we see decreases over time, and that uh, plays very well with our you know, visual inspection of the two stocks within this model. We can then layer on top of that system change graph the contribution of that change um, from each of the loops. So here we can see... Um, when, relative to the amount of change that uh, is happening in the system, is each loop um, being expressed. This helps us to identify the most important loops in the time periods where the most amount of change is happening. 